The Food Pyramid Most of us have probably seen the Food Pyramid. Growing up, the Food Pyramid was often used as a guideline for us to provide us with an idea of how much food and what kind of food we should eat every day in order to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Of course, there is always evidence to state that the Food Pyramid is flexible. But overall, if you were able to observe the Food Pyramid, you have a general idea of what is acceptable in a healthy and nutritious diet. While this may sometimes be controversial, it is still good to have a basic food guide, possibly one that you create yourself. A lot of people will say that it is no longer considered the most healthiest thing to do to eat as many grains as the food pyramid may have suggested. In fact, with recent outbreaks of celiac disease, a lot of people are touting a no-grain lifestyle as the most healthy choice. Rather than relying on the food pyramid for your basic guideline of what is healthy to eat, Try to take into consideration your own personal experiences with food and go from there. Some people are healthier with a lot of grains, and some are not. Use your judgment here to the best of your ability so that you will be able to take steps in the right direction for your health. The standard food pyramid recommends as follows. Rice, cereal, pasta, and bread it can be as many as 11 servings per day. For vegetables and fruits, you should have between 3 and 5 servings. As far as their eggs go, you can have two or three servings every day, provided that you are not allergic or lactose intolerant. When it comes to meats and beans and other things like nuts and fish or poultry, it is recommended that you have two or three servings every day. Unsurprisingly, things such as sugar and fat and oil are the very tip of the pyramid, because you should not have any of these things in excess. Rather, use them only as necessary in order to guarantee your healthiest possible lifestyle. Again, this is only referencing the standard food pyramid. Depending on your own singular needs and dietary functions, you may need to modify this chart for yourself. But if you do not have any specific requirements, this is the standard for the food pyramid that can be utilized to your greatest possible advantage in creating a healthier lifestyle.